From the dating rumor of Kim Tae-ri and Song Joong-ki to Son Ye-jin's due date and Kang Tae-yo's military update, we have much to talk about today. Let's start with the dating rumor of Kim Tae-ri and Song Joong-ki. On October 24th, a video claiming that Kim Tae-ri and Song Joong-ki were enjoying a date in Paris on October 21st was uploaded on YouTube and drew huge attention. In the video, a photo in which a man and woman linking arms when they're walking down an alley was revealed. The couple in the photo taken from the back was alleged to be Kim Tae-ri and Song Joong-ki. Actually, this isn't the first rumor about the two actors. They faced the same thing after they starred in the movie Space Sweepers last year together. At the Busan International Film Festival, Junki said, I miss Kim Tae-ri so much. It would have been nice if she was here. I've never seen anyone who hates actress Kim Tae-ri. As just a person, to me, Kim Tae-ri also has a lot of similarities to Captain Jung, her character in Space Sweepers. I felt like a very big person inside that small body frame, showing off his praise. Also, Tae-ri mentioned in an interview, Song Junki led the atmosphere on set by making people feel comfortable and giving them comfort. It made me think, as expected, of a leading actor. After this second rumor became a hot topic on the 29th, it turned out that the couple in the photo was the Beijing couple. The couple Hyunbin and Son Yejin had been seen by overseas fans during their honeymoon in the United States in April this year, and afterward, photos of them had been spread through Weibo, a Chinese social network site. Regarding the video, some netizens responded, what are you doing with a picture of Hyunbin and Son Yejin's back? Moreover, on the same day, both Song Joong Ki's and Kim Tae agencies denied the rumors that the two former co-stars are in a relationship by saying, The dating rumor is baseless. Song Joong-ki also posted a picture on his Instagram story on the 27th with the phrase, No dating on set. Some fans admired their friendship, commenting on one of Joong-ki's Instagram posts, Even though the gossip goes everywhere, please never take down this photo. Your friendship is so beautiful. In that post, he asked, Please love Is That Here a lot. He was watching Tae-di's vlog series Is That Here on YouTube. Currently, Song Joong-ki is filming the movie Hwadon and will appear on JTBC's new drama, Reborn Rich, which will premiere on November 18th. Gim Tae-ri will take on the lead in the new SBS drama, Demon. It looked like he was watching the actress's vlog series on his Instagram post, asking to please support her. Next is some pleasing news from the Hyunbin and Son Ye-jin couple. Called the couple of the century, two actors first come together in the 2018's movie, The Negotiation. They reunited in 2019-2020's drama, Crash Landing on You, which portrayed a modern Romeo and Juliet love story, we could say. Afterward, the two became the the subject of dating rumors several times, but confirmed their relationship on January 1st of last year. The couple had walked down the aisle in a private ceremony on March 21st of this year. Shortly after their marriage, Son Yejin announced that they were expecting a baby via Instagram. She said, A new life has come to us. I'm still a bit dazed, but I'm feeling changes in my body every day with concern and excitement. We will make sure to protect the valuable life that has come to us. Hyunbin also expressed his feelings in an interview in September, saying that he still couldn't believe that he was going to be a father, but he said, I'm waiting with a good heart because it's such a big blessing. Some fans had started to speculate about the baby's gender based on the couple's purchases. One of the items that was bought was a painting from the famous Korean artist Hang Sung Yoon, which shows a family of pigs, a mom, a dad, and a son. This caused the netizens to think that perhaps this could be a symbol of their family, which meant that the child was a male. Even though some fans didn't think the same by saying that the rumors were groundless, it turns out that the rumors were right. While everyone is looking forward to learning their child's gender and due date, on the 28th of October, Son Yejin's agency said, Son Yejin and Hyunbin's child is a son. She is expected to give birth in December. Son Yejin is currently in very good health. She is calmly preparing for childbirth. Whereas mom-to-be Yejin is showing off her amazing cooking skills through social media, dad-to-be Hyunbin succeeded in box office success with his latest work, Confidential Assignment 2 International. Now onto one of the most popular actors of this year, extraordinary attorney Uz Kang Tae-il. His current military status was revealed, and it's making all the headlines. He enlisted in September, and at that time, he was appointed as a company commander and was said to have lived in a training camp diligently. Not long ago, he was assigned his own squadron. Selected as a drill instructor, he will receive various training, such as physical training through group training. The dignified figure of Kang Tae-yo was included in the sketch photo of the third week trainee released through the Armed Forces communication app, The Camp. Even though he enlisted only a month ago, he has already taken on more than one leadership role, previously company commander, and now drill instructor. The actor started his career in the first ever South Korean actor group Surprise in 2013 and first rose to popularity for his roles in My First First Love and Run On. Undoubtedly, he became the most popular actor of this year with his performance in Extraordinary Ooh and also earned the nickname Nation's Disappointed Man, which is referring to the most memorable quote of the character he played. Also, while a photo of him posing as a dignified figure in military uniform was on the agenda, some Korean resources tossed a headline that says, 
satisfying dignity instead of disappointment, reminding him of his nickname. Pale, whose fans didn't want to send him to the military service, is currently set to be discharged on March 19, 2024. In other news, Olympic figure skater Kim Yuna shared more wedding photos via her Instagram. She and Forstella's Gouldim tied the knot on October 22nd. They got married in a private ceremony at the Sheila Hotel in Seoul. The couple first met in 2018 when Forestella appeared as a special guest at the 2018 All That Skate Eye Show. While the bride Gim Yuna is a retired figure skater who has a career full of championships, the groom, Udim, is a member of a crossover male vocal quartet. Their relationship was revealed first on July 24th after they were spotted on a nighttime date. According to the fact, the two have been dating since December 2021 and are even rumored to be getting married. The following day, the same resource reported that they are in a relationship with marriage in mind. Kodim's agency released a statement that was asking fans for support and understanding. In the ordinary wedding ceremony, which was held with family and close friends, Forestella sang a congratulatory song for the couple. Whereas their stunning wedding photos were admired a lot by everyone, their house also came up in the October 27th episode of KBS's Entertainment Company Live. Their luxurious home, which has a view of the Han River, was first bought by Gim Yuna in 2011 and will be home to the couple after remodeling the interior. Well, we wish them a happy life together. Coming to our November drama recommendations, let's start with Song Joong Ki's away to drama JTBC's Reborn Rich, or with its other name, The Youngest Son of a Conglomerate. The webtoon based drama is kind of a revenge story mixed with one of the Korean beliefs reincarnation. Yoon Hyun Woo, played by Song Joong Ki, is a loyal employee working for Soon Young Group who was betrayed and murdered by Jin Do Joon, the youngest son of Soon Young Group. Then Yoon Hyun Woo finds himself to be reincarnated in the body of Jin Do Joon and decides to take revenge on the Soon Young conglomerate family and also run the company. Other main cast members are Shin Hyun Bin, well known from Hospital Playlist, and Lee Song Min. The trailers of the drama, which will be broadcast on November 18th, have been released. Joon Ki said that he thinks the drama is the Korean version of House of Cards. We think it's definitely worth checking out. Another November drama that might be eye-catching is Netflix's The Fabulous, which tells us the story of people who have devoted their lives to the fashion industry and struggle to survive there. Chinese Mean Ho stars as a freelance photo editor, Ji Woo Min, who is good at his job but lost his passion for it. Tae Soo Bin, well known for I'm Not a Robot, appears as Pyo Ji Eun, who is a public relations manager for a luxury brand, and dreams to work in the fashion industry despite the battle she faces. The chemistry between Soo Bin and Min Ho is also a matter of curiosity. The drama will premiere on November 4th. Don't miss it! And the last recommendation from us is Netflix's psychological thriller drama Somebody, which is about a bizarre story of love and crime, we could say. In the drama Song, played by Kang Hae Lim, is a developer for the social media app Somebody. Even though she has difficulty communicating with others, she has two friends and one of them is a detective. One day, a murder takes place and her app is involved in it. After that, she is drawn into a dark world of romance and crime mysteries. Those who have been looking for a thriller series for a long time should definitely take a look at this series. So that was all from us today. Share your thoughts with us in the comments. See you in the next video, guys. Bye!